Behavioral representation using Verilog D. This is a typical behavioral representation of a NAND gate, with other possible representations. In a typical transistor level schematic, you design a NAND gate with two NMOS and two PMOS, and have them connected like this, to get a NAND gate operation. The same MOS transistors can be represented in a layout, with these metal layers connected as shown here, with all the pin and supply information. And this is symbol view of a NAND gate, that can be used for instantiating and simulating it. But simulating a transistor or, or layout may require some foundry models, and not that easy to simulate. However, if you write a Verilog model for the same NAND gate with this piece of code, describing its logic, then it can be used very easily to simulate in a system. These behavioral models basically have a higher level of abstraction, when compared to a schematic or a physical layout, and that's what we wanted to convey in this slide, here behavioral models are more efficient for design and verification purpose. Also, another thing is, simulating behavioral models is faster than simulation pure transistor designs. Verilog Structural Modeling You can essentially take a structure for a logic circuit, and directly just code the gates themselves. So here is a MUX, that has an output named out. Then here, A, B, and SELECT, are its inputs. In this schematic representation of a MUX on the left side, you can notice that, the MUX is basically made up of four components, like an inverter or NOT gate, then it has two AND gates, and, at the end an OR gate. So, we can just say, we want a NOT gate, from the SELECT inputs drives, a SELECT bar and then, we want an AND gate between, A and SELECT bar, that drives A1, then another AND gate from B, between that takes B and SELECT input, that then drives B1, and an OR gate, that that takes A1, B1 and drives the output out. So, this is essentially just a description of the module, in terms of the primitive elements themselves. A perfectly reasonable way to go. So here, Notice that we are redefining primitives, and you don't actually have to specify instance names for these things. Normally when you call up a module, you have to say the module name, and then the instance name, and then a list of parameters. With primitives, it does not require you to specify instance names. However, you can specify it if you like, but it's not needed. Also here notice that, nets should be displayed as wires. Inside of Verilog, if you do not declare something, and you use it in a pin list, then it assumes it to be a wire. So, the wire is the default of these guys, that we did not declare. Therefore, a structural model represents a gate-level schematic, or netlist in HDL. Simple components like end, not, or, xnor, nor, or, any other module, etc. And can be connected, to create more complex components. And, Verilog provides basic logic functionality as predefined primitives.